Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Today is, it's an old video, so this is me right now, but the video is super old. It's from July of 2020, so it's like a year and a half old, um, but I thought, uh, three and a half years old, but I thought I would still post it to hopefully for some of you to enjoy. It's not the best quality or the best editing because I was not into YouTube yet, but I thought, you know, some of you would still enjoy it. So in July of 2020, I did like a John Hughes 80s Brat Pack movie and then a few others like Home Alone, like filming locations tour. So this one is John Hughes's house and his favorite restaurant and the cemetery and everything uh, where he's buried at. So just kind of a little John Hughes tour, if you will, and then... The other videos are already on my channel from a few years ago. I went to like Ferris Bueller's locations, um, Home Alone locations, 16 Candles, stuff like that. All of the 80s Brat Pack teen movies. And then, so I just figured, I'm like, oh, I still have this footage. Why not post it? So I hope you enjoy it. Sherman High School, Sherman, Illinois, 60062. Hi guys! I decided to do like a John Hughes tour, 80s movie tour, and so this is my first location, the Breakfast Club High School. It's a police station now, but this is awesome! here the same high school as Ferris Bueller some of the interior scenes were also filmed for the breakfast club here's the second location ah! it's the field at the end of the movie of the breakfast club here's the school and when he throws his fist up sincerely yours the breakfast club don't, don't. It looks so different now. I mean, granted, it is 35 years later, so I don't expect it to be the same. But, oh my gosh. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, with the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete and a basket case a princess and a criminal does that answer your question sincerely yours the breakfast club don't, 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 don't. now i am at the man the myth the legend john hughes house it's so beautiful insane It, yeah, it like wraps around. All the way around. It's so huge. goes from over there all the way to here, wraps around there, all the way over behind those trees and bushes. Now we are at Ferentino's Pizzeria. It was his favorite place to eat, so we're gonna check it out. I'm super confused because I got dinner. I got pizza, which, you know, can be eaten with your hands. But I got spaghetti and they didn't give me any silverware. So should I just like, how do I go about that? Because, you know, I'm in a hotel and there's no silverware. And we're in our pajamas. And we're in our pajamas.
So now we're at his grave and I'm not gonna record it too much because I wanna be obviously respectful towards him. Cameron's house from Ferris Bueller and it's where they crashed the Ferrari in the back through the back but there are people out so we're gonna be like cautious and respectful here it is it's pretty hard to see but like you can still tell like, there's like the rooms and stuff we told the guy that we were gonna be back here We'll see if we can get a view of the front, but like they're like sitting in their front yard and they're a little bit of playing. But yeah, this is the Ferraris in there. Forget it. Now this is the scene where Ferris's sister pulls over and sees this water tower with the lettering Save Ferris. <laughs> and here, the same high school as Ferris Bueller, some of the interior scenes were also filmed for The Breakfast Club. So this is the part in Ferris Bueller when he comes and picks his girlfriend up and Ferris is like right here and says, do you have a kiss for daddy? Hi. Do you have a kiss for daddy? Are you kidding? This was all field. That was all field. Crazy. Yeah, something like that. So that's how it is in their family. So this next spot is when him and his girlfriend are talking about like getting married. I was serious when I said I would marry her. I would. Sloan's is bigger problem. She still has another year of high school. How do I deal with that? This is the next one. It's something in Ferris Bueller and my mom and I can't remember. So if you know, please let me know because we can't figure it out. But it's completely abandoned. It's all shut down, so. Those people keep sitting there, that's weird. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're fans of Ferris Bueller. Maybe it's the high school? I I don't know. I'm stumped. It's it's pretty though. Location is the school where Uncle Buck's car like backfires. And right here where it ah where it shows the school. It says Ramona School, but like in the movie it says Winona, doesn't it? Or does it say Ramona? I think it says Winona. Yeah, right here where he yeah. blows up with the kids. Yeah, and, and then like right here blows up. High school when his car also backfires still and when he embarrasses her this whole scene is so funny hey. 
like right here is when he drops her off and his car backfires again and literally all right here is where everyone jumps. The next location is Uncle Buck's house. My word, look. Now we are at the church <laughs> from 16 Candles when Jake Ryan was right here. <laughs> here is the church. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Sorry about someone's car being in the way, but this is the view Samantha had where Jake was right there. Here's inside. where the limo was because this is where um I forget the sister's name now anyway she starts like tearing her whole wedding dress off and they start taking off down the road and everything so this is literally where Jake stood oh my gosh and did you guys know Michael Sheffling that plays Jake is going to be 60 this year like I wasn't around you know then but it's still crazy because I've grown up with this movie and just a thing like <laughs> Jake Ryan 60 now. <laughs> taking pictures when Anthony Michael Hall comes right here and he has his Jake's girlfriend. Hi guys, day two, it's my birthday and I am at my second location. This is Samantha Baker's house. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely so insane. My mom has something to say. So right there is the tree, but they've obviously moved the tree because the tree was to the right because where the tree is now is where Long Duck Dong was laying when he was, I think it's two sheets to the wind, drunk as a skunk. Oh, he's, he's three <laughs> sheets to the wind. <laughs> he's drunk as a skunk. But also the door is where the conversation happened between Long Duck Dong and Jake Ryan. She, uh -huh. she get him married. Married? Married. Jeez. <laughs> married? Married. Married? Yeah, married. Married? Married. Jeez. Okay, so the people just pulled up, which I was kind of shy at first. But they were so nice, and I asked, like, if they were okay with me, like, filming, and they were like, yeah, of course, that's so, so fun. Like, it, they were so nice, and I'm happy now. Oh, oh there's more people. Now there's more people that just pulled up. <laughs> So our next location was the high school in 16 Candles, but as you can see, it now is just a parking lot. That's really sad. Just parking lot, but over there is like the junior high school, but that wasn't used. It was just the high school that was right here. <laughs> Guys, look where I'm at now. Jake's house. Oh my gosh. All I can think of is, hey, sexy girlfriend. So like, oh my God. This is where the party happened. That's where yeah. the like car comes out of the garage. Yeah, so cool. I know. Hi guys, so we're at Jake Ryan's, Jake Ryan's house now. I think there's people outside. Okay. Okay. We're at Jake Ryan's house. Okay, so we just, <laughs> That was crazy. We went to Jake's house, and I think in the last clip you can see me like, oh, there's someone talking. They came up to us and had us go to their house. We got to, like, they straight up just were like, come on! And I was like, are you sure? <laughs> so cool, so fun. He showed us the exact same tree that, like, Long, Long Duck Dong jumped out of and was like, 
Banzai! Banzai! <laughs> so cool! Oh my gosh, I can't like believe that they let us go up there. That was very cool. That like, was very nice. And then they told sure. us the house across the street is from the movie Lucas. Yeah. Um, which obviously is an 80s movie. Um, it's not necessarily an 80s like John Hughes movie, but I can yeah. see my sunburn now from standing yeah. outside all night. <laughs> my forehead is burned. Um, but yeah, so that was super cool because Lucas was a good movie. So For yeah. sure. Yeah. Anyway. I remember a little bit. So shout out to... Bruce. Bruce and Judith. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> it was so cool. And w as I was walking away, I was like, I never want to feel like, you know, because I stand back, obviously, for privacy. And so I was like, I never want to seem like I'm intruding or bothersome. And he was like, well, you did it. He was like, well, you, did you did it the did right way. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like, cool. Thank you. <laughs> so that was super cool. Super fun. Like, mm -hmm. and they showed us in the garage, um, where he pulled like right? Rolls Royce. Yeah. We got to go in the garage. <laughs> and what's your name? Judith. 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 I'm Maggie. And this is my... you were here you came here for me is that okay <laughs> yeah it's okay do you have to go to reception now i'm supposed to can i call you later sure i mean no no i can't call you later yeah no, I mean, I'm not going to the reception. Oh, great. The Home Alone house? What? No way. This is crazy. There are so many people here. It's so, it's so crazy. A lot of things have changed. Like, the driveway has changed. And one thing, like... I thought, what's his name? Uh, old, old Man Marley. Old, yes, I kept wanting to say Murphy, but that's the Murphy house over there. Um, I would think that was his house, but it's not. It's different, so. Yeah, so no. There's no roundabout because, like, right there is when they kept hitting the statue. <laughs> and so I think this is. The Murphy house, they're like, you know, bring me back something French. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Trip, bring me back something French. Okay, so let's see. Does the um, the uh, garage look similar? Oh, there it. Oh, there is no garage. What? That's yeah. crazy. They've got cameras all around this place. Oh, I bet they do. Wow. Heck yeah. Okay. And now this is the scene in Home Alone when Kevin walks by the house and sees like the family having a Christmas and he gets sad. It looks different when it's not all decorated, but it's a pretty house. I mean, it looks a lot the same, just, you know, not filled with every single Christmas decoration. 
Okay, we're sitting here figuring everything out. In the school that we were just at for Curly Sue, we just realized is where the kids sing in Home Alone. What? <laughs> I, it does yeah. <laughs> what? So I decided to come back here because since it was from Home Alone 2, I wanted to like vision it, have it that vision in my head. So right here was where it said like the Christmas program, I think. So that's super cool. What? What the heck? And this is the scene right here when they back out and Kevin almost gets hit and he's like, ah! <laughs> With the car right here, right here. Oh my gosh. So I guess this is old man Marley's house. I do not remember it looking like that. Yeah. Interesting. Like over here, you can see the windows, which would look out to his house, but I don't remember it looking all creepy and haunted like this. This would be like, we're up here in like Buzz's room where they were looking at. Yeah. Okay, now this is the store where he goes in to get his milk, eggs, and fabric softener. I love this part when she, the cast cashier, here, she's like, are you here by yourself? Are you here all by yourself? It kind of does look the same. Can I get the milk? Eggs. Fabric softener. <laughs> I went shopping yesterday. I got the milk, eggs, and fabric softener. Milk, 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 and fabric softener. I got the milk. And then he's like, ma'am, I'm eight years old. <laughs> ma'am, I'm eight years old. You think I'd Now this is the place where Kevin gets his toothbrush. I feel like it looks quite a bit the same. And then if we turn around, here's the park that he runs through that the, chop, the cop chases him through. Yeah, it looks super different. And I wonder like how they did the ice rink part. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm sure like none of this stuff was here before, so maybe they do that in the winter? I feel like this is where the ice rink was. Is it? I'm so confused because it just like looks so different from the movie that I don't know. And then I recognize that. What is it? Ah. Now this is the part in Home Alone when he goes to see Santa. Excuse me. Yeah. Right in front of this building is where the little workshop was. Does not look anything like the movie. You can just tell because of the building looks the same, but right here on the sidewalk was where Santa was. So cute. So. And so I wonder, like when the elf was parking his car yeah. or was going to his car and he gave him the mints. I think like right here, right? Yeah, I guess it would have been somewhere. I'm trying not to get the garbage can in, but yeah. yeah. This is really pretty though. I mean, what's next? Maybe chef the Easter Bunny? So the next location is the church in Home Alone. Right here. It's so beautiful. And right there where that sign is, is where like the nativity scene was set up. Ah! So beautiful. Can we go in? Probably. It's a church, I would I, assume. I don't know. I want to go in. Yeah. Did they actually film in here? Woo! Oh! <laughs> Careful, there's something there. No, huh? <laughs> okay, just try to open the door, even if we can get a peek. God won't be mad. No? No. Can you see in there? This is so cool. <laughs> I want to see in because that is beautiful inside. This part, obviously this part, like is it in the movie? But look how gorgeous it is. Inside, look at the inside part.
chocolate kiss. It's so good. The place is so cute. The people were so nice. Ah, and it's so pretty around here. Okay, now we are at Dennis's, Dennis the Menace's house. Yes. So right here, and it's Dennis's house. And over here, you barely can see it now. Yes. But, hey, Mr. Wilson. So if you've seen this movie, holy cow, what a difference. Like, it's crazy. Like, obviously, like, it's all landscaped and stuff and beautiful in the movie. Because Mr. Wilson was part of, like, a garden club. Yeah. And so this was all fancy and beautiful and yeah. It's this, like Dennis's house is still nice. Yeah, it's but not the bad, other but one that house is wow. So mm -hmm. anyway, not bad, just not yeah, yeah. you know, kept up. So yeah. give them a good glance again. Mr. Wilson's house. Okay, so this is Dennis the Menace's house. So if we just go right over here right next door which is obviously much more crowded we have hey mr wilson <laughs> so yeah that's mr wilson's house which wow what a difference that was really fun slow it down <laughs> <laughs> next is the school from curly sue look at it it's so cool i love she's literally standing right here and she's like please wear in public and then put a sock in it or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's so cool. <laughs> so all of this looks the same except the doors and obviously the railings, which I would assume um and then this house is in the, in the back and it looks completely different all these trees and bushes are here now this is a different color as well because i think it used to be white but everything else pretty much looks the same this is insane this one is from she's having a baby Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see and talk to you in the next video. Bye.